I didn't really move from Chicago. I didn't move. I was, I was kicked out. <laughs> I was kicked out because I'm the only African American that does not like Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I do these jokes all the time. They got nothing to do with politics at all. It's just um, my mom told me that uh, I could be the first black president. <laughs> I got nothing else to shoot for nowadays. You know? I'm three classes from finishing up at the bride, and he swoops right here. <laughs> Barack, you want to give a brother a heads up, Barack? <laughs> Messed up, man. It's all right. I got new goals. I got new goals. I, I no longer want to be the first black president. I now want to be the first black pope. <laughs> More little shot glasses. <laughs> like that, we gonna have a pimp goblin. Who's with me? <laughs> no more little pieces of bread. We gonna have Wonder Bread. <laughs> Still wear the hat and everything. Just tilt it to the side. It's gonna be nice, man. <laughs> no, man. I'm a fan of Barack. I'm a fan of Barack. I think Barack need the right legislation to impact us. You know, legislation impacts everybody in here. Like I think all television and iPods and radios. Ought to have an ignorance meter on it. <laughs> yeah, so you only get so many ignorance minutes a month. <laughs> so right in the middle of your favorite reality show, you watching Real Housewives or Jersey Shore, your television just cut off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a note comes up like, you gotta watch six hours of the History Channel. <laughs> Same thing with iPods. Like you listen to your favorite rap song, like black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> your iPod just cut off. You gonna have to download a book on tape with your ignorant ass. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much ignorance going on, man. My mom want me to get married. I'm afraid to get married. I think we need to legislate marriage. Yeah, I do. I think you ought to have to get a degree to get married. If you're gonna stay with somebody your whole life, you ought to be qualified. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm serious about it. Like, men, we have to take classes. Like, quality time, one-on-one. <laughs> we have to take foreign language classes. That's conversation with women. <laughs> oh, women, don't be concerned. You guys went out to take one class. Just one. It's called silence. <laughs> Turn on ESPN and open a beer. See how long you can shut the hell up. <laughs> like, here go a blank syllabus. Read this. There's nothing on it. It's not saying anything. Bingo! <laughs> Damn it. I'm just saying, man. It's tough. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to get married. I'm afraid to get married because I don't want to get a divorce. That's why I think you ought to have divorce insurance. Yeah. And your deductible is based on the chances of you getting a divorce. Fellas, you can't keep a job. You like midget porn? <laughs> Probably gonna have a high deductible. <laughs> All right? Just saying. Ladies, you don't like to shut up and you don't suck dick? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Your deductible gonna be through the roof. That's SR22. Every time I meet a woman don't give head, I'll be like, they still make you? <laughs> What's your serial number? <laughs> it was recalled in 86. <laughs> supposed to be walking the streets no more. I'm just saying. I'm afraid to get married because men and women are so different. You know, men are simple. I don't know if y'all know this, ladies. Men are simple. Men can look at every single woman in this room and find a reason to sleep with you. I'm doing it with some of y'all right now. <laughs> we can, no problem. Hey, I like the shirt. Nice shirt, you know. Hey, I like your uh, bag. It's a cool bag. Hey, I like your friend. Like, we can find it. <laughs> we'll sleep with a friend to get to her. I call it perseverance. <laughs> right? Women, the exact opposite. Women can look at every man in this room and find a reason not to sleep with him. Some of y'all doing it with me right now. <laughs> I see y'all doing it. I 
can feel it. I don't like his jeans. It look like he work outside. I don't like his jeans. I don't like his sweater. I don't like when men wear pomegranate. I don't like his sweater. I don't like his wife. You know, bullshit like that. My wife has to do with this, man. Messed up, man. Men are simple. Men like stuff you can touch, like legs, and breasts, stuff like that. Women like inanimate objects, like ambition. <laughs> Potential. <I was> like, <laughs> what? It's messed up, man. It's messed up. You know why it's messed up? If you can wear a shirt, make your breasts look bigger. Nothing I can wear to look more ambitious. <laughs> you say it. I can be doing these jokes in a three-piece suit. You're like, yeah, you still look like you went to DeVry. You still look like <laughs> Go poke. Go poke. You know what I'm saying? It's tough, man. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to do it, man. I'm afraid to do it. I always say I don't want to date a hoe. And women get mad at me like, that's a double standard. How many women have you slept with? And I'm like, shut up, woman. <laughs> women love double standards as long as they go in your direction. Like, I've never seen once a woman complain about being able to go into any nightclub in America. No money in her pocket. Walk out drunk as hell with a $100 bill in her pocket. <laughs> right? Never. Like, think about it. You can kiss your girlfriend in college. And it's just experiment. <laughs> Meanwhile, I kissed Tyrone one time. <laughs> and I'm dating for life. Right? My mom was calling me like, is that you in the palm of and kissing that boy? <laughs> the YouTube and Twitter shit follows you, man. I, mean, I want y'all to think about this before I get out of here. Think about this double standard tonight. Somebody may like my pomegranate shirt. They may decide to take me home and make sweet love to me. And it will be sweet. <laughs> And when we finish, I'll say something real cool, like, hey, uh, why don't you put on a pair of my boxer shorts, button up shirt, and go out to the bathroom, and let's smoke a cigar. Everybody in here will say, that's sexy. Yeah, that's real sexy. But let's say somebody likes my pomegranate shirt and decides to take me home and make sweet love to me. And it will be sweet. <laughs> and when we finish, I'll say something real cool, like, hey, uh, why don't you let me put on a pair of your thongs? <laughs> Slip on your blouse. Step outside and smoke a Virginia Slim. <laughs> That's a restraining order waiting to happen. Uh, San Francisco PD, we got a Negro on a balcony wearing a thong. Uh, please advise. Shoot to kill, man. <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm 10 days.